Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Weekend. Now, uh, back for episode two. Um, I don't know how the first episode did, but uh, I want to thank everyone for who, who has watched it. Obviously, this being a new channel, it uh, means everything to me that uh, anybody would watch uh, watch the videos, to be fair. But they're really fun to make, so we're going to we're gonna keep doing that. Now, there was a few things I forgot to do or forgot to show on the uh, last episode. Um, first things first was the um, the squad building challenges. Now, there was a once to watch to Nali, um, which was very easy to complete, actually. It was just a, I believe, 80 rated squad, excuse me, with uh, 75 chemistry, one Serie A player. Now, I used a few few more than one but uh, just got rid of some of the fodder in my in, in my account some of the players i won't use either they're untradeable or pretty much worthless um so we've got Gignac, lamar it just kind of worked um four nows so decent uh, decent little squad and we're going to submit that straight away get ourselves a um get ourselves a wants to watch tonali the first ones to watch play on my account of course if you pre-ordered the ultimate edition like myself then you will get a once to watch item uh, sometime in the near near future so there he, he actually looks really good as well as, uh, as, as you can tell we're going to see him walk out hopefully there we go um, decent decent looking looking card hopefully the rest of the one to watch SPCs, SBCs are somewhat as simple as this one but um Good looking card, hopefully he gets a few upgrades and he could be a real beast uh, like he was last year. So put him straight into the club. Now the other few things I was going to mention or show last episode that I forgot was, I uh, can't remember if it was this exact SBC, but uh, this one gives you a few, I believe, loan items or player pick items, which will be very helpful for the, um, for the squad and for the club itself. So we'll go ahead and just quickly submit those okay so that's all that done and then we've got the marquee matchups to do um, which I've already done but we'll get these out of the way first so gold striker maximum 80 rated of course it's going to be it's going to be awful uh, see now the question here is do you do you just pick Giroud <laughs> or do you actually go for the intelligent pick of course it's got to be uh, Giroud, the only legend to ever pop up that's uh, under 85 rated. Jesus Christ. Now, I, I don't know what I expected really. It wasn't going to be a tremendously exciting pick, was it? Anything below 80, but we're going to take uh, Serdar. Uh, half decent looking card actually. So if we um, go into a Bundesliga hybrid of any kind, then we've got him to play around with. Then we've got uh, Sias. Say, 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 don't know, but a Wolves player, uh, Morocco, he looks actually half decent. I mean, we did just buy some new centre backs, but we'll uh, we'll take him anyway. It could be useful for upcoming SBCs, possibly. Um, don't know, take him. Uh, it's totally irrelevant, isn't it? I mean, totally irrelevant. We'll just take the highest rated in that guy. So cool, that's all that done. Um, I mean, again, like I said, you, we weren't expecting, you know, Ronaldo's and Messi's, but we do have the marquee matchups, which I've already done. This one was not complete. Anyway, there we go. So I'm not sure where my right back actually went, but I must have uh, just submitted him into a previous SBC. Uh, this this one was actually quite tricky, to be fair, for me, because I, I didn't want to buy too many players because a lot of the silvers were quite expensive. Uh, I did end up buying a few, such as this guy. He was one3 uh, and 900 coins. Unfortunately, there's just a lack of uh, silvers at the moment on the market, so uh, very tricky. But um, yeah, the requirements weren't very nice either. You've got obviously three Belgian players, five players from the same minimum from the same league. Sorry, got two rares, five silvers minimum, uh, 75 chemistry. So you did need. Well, I I needed a few strong links. I'm not sure if that was the consensus, but uh, we'll submit it anyway. Get a silver. Um, Small Prime Silvers player pack, which could be quite good. Uh, the Leon versus Marseille was okay. It's just standard, you know, non-rare. Get a few, get a few rare silvers in there if you got them in the club, or you know, most of them are quite cheap, not overly bank-breaking. So we'll submit that one away. Then the uh, Leipzig versus Schalke SBC again, standard, just 
Bundesliga and uh, Serie A for me. Then we got the Manchester United versus Spurs. Of course, if you saw the match, it was an absolute whitewash. And all of my players have gone again, so cool. That'll do. I mean, a lot of these players are just useless. I'm never going to use them. A lot of them untradeable. And we've managed to fit a few bronzes in there. So, you know, that's a win-win. All you needed was a one Spurs player and one Manchester United player. Three Premier League minimum. I did use a few more because it's just so easy to get English strong links in the Premier League. Um, with say, uh, seven maximum players from the same national league. Three from the same club. Uh, and 75 rating, 85 chemistry, which bang on. And uh, can't argue with that with a prime Electrum players pack, which could be could be half decent. But there we go. There's marquee matchups complete. And I thought it'd be quite nice to start this episode with a few uh, a few packs because I want to try and avoid spend. Uh, I want to try avoiding, sorry, spending money on this account because it's just a bottomless pit, really. But. <sighs> Okay, so pack's done. We do have a few things sold, hopefully. Um, so did sell Hammers Rodriguez for 3.3. Got Candreva for 7.5. Got Alvaro for 2,000 coins. Yeah, so this is how the team is looking for today. Um, obviously, as if you have watched the last episode, you'll know the changes from last time will be uh, Chris Smalling. We've now newly brought in with Ducore, Harvey Barnes, Kalasinac, Callum Wilson and uh, uh, Bertrand Traore. Uh, not, the, not the greatest looking player, especially with that one star weak foot. So, you know, hopefully he's not going to be the one shooting. But overall, we have, um, we have improved the team a lot since last episode. Um, obviously, last episode in a, a few situations. Uh, okay, maybe more than a few, but... Uh, the defence just was lacking, mainly on my part, but I just some of the players just weren't good enough. So um, we've only got two two more games to play, and then we'll find out where we stand in division rivals. So without further ado, let's jump into the first game and see how things go. Okay, so first team is, well, as it looks, I mean, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Uh, I imagine that's just a, just a start squad, but I mean... You cannot deny a Mustafi in the back line. Hopefully we can still pick up a win though. I think if we're not beating this team, either this player is incredible or we are very trash. And I, I'm thinking it might be the second one. But we do have Harvey Barnes breaking on through. We're going to pass it across to... That was not the play. Hamez with the finesse. Nope, I still don't get the ball. But we do have Decore. He's a bit of a beast, to be fair. And we do have Batshuayi coming on through. Tried the trip. I, I tried the chip. It didn't work out. So we were going to cut across to now. Take the shot. There we go. James Rodriguez. Only took him till the second episode to actually show up and, and do something in the games. But get his first goal for the club in an actual um, online game, which is quite nice. Obviously, all the other goals have just been from... Uh, Squad battles. Not to say squad battles don't count, but it doesn't matter. We've got Callum Wilson. Okay. I did try and do something, but he uh, chose not to, apparently. Callum Wilson coming on through. He's going to hopefully pick up his second. There we go. Callum Wilson, what a signing for the, for the squad. I mean, he's only, you know, bare minimum, but that 82 pace is, you know, good enough to take down Mustafi. And, uh, I mean, if that's certification to go by, then he, he might as well be a legend. Yeah, using that pace. He doesn't have the weak foot, but definitely have the pace for it. Cross it into the mid. Callum Wilson, how have you missed from there? Corey. We've got Callum Wilson breaking on through again, using that pace. There we go. And we're just going to... Quite an easy, quite an easy little tap in there. <laughs> I mean, you just have to do it to him sometimes. You just... Have to do it to him, but there we go. Batshuayi makes it three. Mm. See, I mean, the game plan of this guy is just to kick it up to Mbappe. Clearly, I was wrong because uh, he's still got Haaland, doesn't he? Good goal, to be fair. Um, and, and that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you can still have a bronze team, but still have, you know, good players because of the loans. Um, like I said, even though they are loans, 
they are still the players, so still just as just as dangerous. But we're doing pretty well. I mean, the team is doing so much better since the last episode, just because of those upgrades. Like Ducore, for one. Admittedly, yeah, we are coming up against a bronze team basically, but you know, it's still really good. Callum Wilson's been decent as well, so. Gets away from his man. Bashiwai can't pick up the loose ball. Do still keep hold of it though. Oh, just a bad pass. Uh, back to Bashiwai. Who's going to give it to Wilson for his third, I do believe. Or is it his fourth? Might be his fourth. Uh, no idea. But there we go. Callum Wilson gets back on the score sheet to make it 4-2. And yeah, this guy's, this guy's pretty much done, I think. Oh, you love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. My game just decided to to shut down. I don't know if it crashed. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But either way, it's resulted in us having a disconnect. Oh, it's frustrating. It really is. Because, I mean, we, we were winning that game quite comfortably. Um, and then it just connects. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't want to start blaming the opponent. Like... You know, did he do something fishy to make it disconnect? I don't think so. It seemed the game just decided to close, but you never know. There was a whole, like, 4G glitch of maybe a year or so back. So, who knows? But we do get um, we do get 500 coins, I suppose, which is a bonus. Uh, it's just frustrating, really is, because obviously now it's just put a loss, loss on our placements record, because that should have been a win, but it wasn't. So, Kidoki, so... Uh, Okay, so second game, coming up, coming up against a very decent uh, Liga Santander team. Umtiti, PK, Marcelo, very decent. We have Harvey Barnes breaking on through, taps it back to Batshuayi, who's going to fall to James Rodriguez, who's going to pick up his second game, uh, second goal in the second game, um, which is which is amazing. Um, I really do like this this guy. I really do like like his card, even though he does have 53 pace, which I think is a bit harsh. But I mean, the rest of him just for a cam anyway, he just makes up for it. It's the one thing that's letting him down really in his game, or in our game rather. Got Trent coming across quite nicely, and it's going to fall back to him for an easy tap in. Brilliant. Hammers going on through, muscling off PK to get his third all-time goal for the club. That made zero sense, but Hammers Rodriguez blasting into the back of the net to make it 3-1, uh, 2-1. One? One. Sorry, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Blast one. Callum, keep it. Why <laughs> have you taken six touches <laughs> to knock it out of bounds? That's ridiculous. Rodriguez from range. Ah. Oh. Corey, it's a good pass and it's going to fall back to him again for another tap in <sighs> I don't really know what, what I can do to be fair Batshuayi doing some good footwork in the box. Skipping past all of the defenders. Let's go. <laughs> Batshuayi picking up the slack and making it 3-2. He may not know how to pass, but he can for sure shoot and score goals when you need it. So take it. I believe it was one of the um, the starter player pack uh, starter pack players that I got um, just by you know playing the game essentially. It's a good read as well. But uh, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it all day. Yeah, we've got Wilson breaking on pace. Breaking on through with pace. Gets taken out. It's no foul. I'm just making all the wrong choices right now. Horrendous stuff. Got uh, Triori breaking on through with some pace. Pass it across to Ducore. Gets back to Hammers though. Let's go. Uh, I don't, know how, don't even know how many goals he scored at this point. But easy tap in for Hammers. We'll take it. 
all day. What a back heel, one star weak foot. Traore smashes it, well, kind of side, uh, slides it into the back of the net, but there we go. Obviously that was his stronger foot because if it wasn't, he would have probably missed. That was lucky, again, another lucky bounce. We're just gonna dink it over the goalkeeper to make it six, six, three. Uh, I, I stopped myself making the Liverpool joke, but uh, yeah, couldn't quite get the ball and He's going to score a fourth. The ball just seemed to bounce off my defenders. I couldn't really get anybody to hold on to it. I'm not entirely sure what that was about, but 6-4, um, uh, I guess. Got Triori breaking on through so much more pace than Marcelo. He's going to chip it early into the box for Wilson to recreate the goal that Aubameyang scored in the first episode, proving he is just as good. He's nowhere near as expensive, but he's just, just as good. Is breaking on through with Batshuayi in support, who's going to put it in, almost didn't, to make it 8-4. What a game this has been. 12 goals, would you believe it? 12 goals. He wasn't a bad player, to be fair. He was good, he just made quite predictable, you know, movements, that's all. But James gets three goals, which I'm very pleased about. Finally, he's contributing contributing in the way of uh, of goals, which is really nice to see. Uh, and of course, uh, Callum, uh, Callum Wilson and Batshuayi both getting on the score sheet as well, which is also nice to see. So two for two for Batshuayi, two for Wilson, and three for Rodriguez, getting three at, at Cam. You didn't, excuse me, you, surprisingly you didn't get any assists though, but Batshuayi with three assists, which is quite surprising, assuming he can't pass the ball for sh uh, And then Callum Wilson with two, respectively I do I do need to keep remembering that I have got substitutes as well I should really start using them but uh, there we go 8-4 against this guy um, like I said wasn't bad just made quite predictable play um, and that was it that was it besides a few lucky goals here and there and there we go so placements complete we are sitting quite comfortably in Division 4 with our placement reward of 64,000 coins. Decent stuff. It'd be really interesting to see if we had got that uh, got that win instead of that unfortunate disconnect. Uh, it'd have been interesting to see where, where our skill rating would have been. But I think Div 4 is quite comfortable. Um, when I did play FIFA last, I think my division was 6 or 5. So we've definitely improved. I mean, I have. Um, I'm very, very happy about. We are going to play one more game today just to get some uh, foot champion points on the board. And I've, as you can see, we are sitting quite quite tight with uh, 80,000 coins. So we might be able to make a few big upgrades for next episode. Um, don't think we need to do anything too drastic this episode because the team is actually really good. I mean, the opposition we're coming up against is not overly that difficult. It might be more now that we're in Division, division 4. But... Um, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with it. So we'll just complete these milestone, objective, whatevers. And we'll jump into another game. Coming up against a bit of a mismatch for team, to be honest. Got got a bit of Barcelona, Liga Santander, a bit of Serie A. Got the Ukrainian League with Tyson up top on basically no chemistry. Interesting team. I mean, just because they're off chem doesn't mean they're going to be bad. You've got Coutinho, which could do some damage. Uh, overall, quite a decent looking team. Look at that badge. Best team in the world, said nobody. Also got Christensen in its centre back for uh, Ben White. Even though I think Ben White was doing really well, just wanted to, you know, swap out the squad, see how see how changes go. So Chris Smalling though back in the fray, absolute beast. And then Harvey Barnes can't quite come through. Do have Kevin Wilson going on through? It's a good ball over the top. It's not going to make it there, is it? Oh. And the goalkeeper mistake makes it 1-0. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no idea what happened there. Goalkeeper decided, I ain't going to do nothing. I ain't going to kick the ball. I ain't going to catch it. I'm just going to run past it and let it bounce off my back. Which is fantastic for us. Because now we're 1-0 up. Love to see it. Another good block by Chris Smalling. Finally get a touch of the ball. How long is that going to be for? 
don't know, but Callum Wilson is breaking on through once again. Shoots it, goes in off the post, let's go. Callum Wilson straight off the break makes it 2-1 on the stroke of half time against this guy who's been actually all over me the entire game. Not entirely sure if that goal was uh, totally deserved, but the ref will just blow the whistle in a matter of seconds, so it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, Decore just wasn't quick enough, but there we go. So, end of the first half. Very good game. Really enjoying it so far. I really enjoyed the gameplay this year. Um, like I said, I didn't play too much of FIFA 20, but I played enough to know it was uh, it was it was dog shit. So yeah, really enjoying it. Really kind of just intuitive, fluid gameplay. What I found at the moment. I mean, the connection's been really good, um, and there hasn't been too many of those kind of awkward, weird bounces. I think it's been enough to say that you know it seems kind of realistic, but not to the point where it's like this is actually stupid now. Maybe I have to play a little bit more to fully judge, but uh, so far that's kind of my impression. And defending's been, you know, challenging, tough, which I quite like. Um, it's just that learning curve, which is uh, which I always find enjoyable about new FIFAs. There's always something new to learn and uh, kind of get your hands on. Do you make the tackle, though? It's a good time tackle. I can't get the ball to anybody. Just get shut off in the defence. We'll take a tactical foul. Tactical foul? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much I've shown because I'm probably just silent, concentrating on uh, uh, actually tackling the ball, which um, is uh, taking basically 102% of my brain power. Um, I do get the ball, luckily, by a few deflections. Ah, oh, couldn't, really, uh, couldn't really do too much about that. And there we go. I believe, unless there's extra time, I believe that's the full full game, full time, whatever. Frustrating stuff. Um, it was just both. It was just a game of defences, really. His defence was on point. Mine was somewhat on point. Uh, we both scored two goals, so I'll take it. Callum Wilson picking up two goals. Uh, maybe not in total elegance, but it is what it is. We'll take it. Another thousand coins for the draw. And you, you can't say no to that at all. Yeah, really, uh, really tough game. His, uh, you know how to pass. You know how to kind of like hold the ball and dribble and turn back. And it really was a task to try and concentrate and actually focus on defending. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I mean, we, we uh, I mean, first game in in the actual divisions rank, we do lose three for the draw, which is a bit harsh. I mean, come on now, it was. Uh, it was a good game, but yeah, we uh, rank up and then we do get um, 32 points towards our foot champions rank. Got nothing else left to do. Obviously, like I said, I'll, I'll be playing squad battles in the background in between episodes. Um, so we have some extra packs and coins and, um, you know, can always boost player stats and everything. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing that in the background to kind of grind the series, get a few more coins. And hopefully next episode we'll have some maybe new additions. Um not sure when the next episode is going to be. Probably be, this is the 7th or 8th, probably on the 9th. Um, so, next episode could be the Wants to Watch episode as well uh, on the 9th when they actually do release that. So, that would be really exciting to see. Uh, and it would be interesting to see how uh, expensive or not expensive the plays are. So, we might be able to pick up a few of the Premier League Wants to Watch items. Um, but, yeah, besides that, um, that will conclude today's episode has been really good fun uh really another really exciting episode maybe not quite as many goals as last as last episode but um hopefully it's a little bit shorter maybe maybe that's better maybe that's worse i'm not sure do let me know in the comments below if you did like this episode please do drop it a like and if you want to see more of this content please do uh feel free to hit that subscribe button um i i do make games my my own as well in the spare time when i'm not making videos so uh content creator and also uh, a game designer as well so if you do want to check out any of the games i've made links are in the description below uh, links to the itch.io page and links to my game job page as well um, and if you want to check any of those out please do very very much appreciated otherwise um thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time